Hello, welcome back to another video. So today, um, if you guys don't know, I mean, there's not there's not much videos going around, but Unity 1.0, um, yeah, it was not talk talk much upon the Unity community. So yeah, you might you might be saying that it's probably easy to get, right? Not really. If we go here, add. See, there's no, I mean, obviously there's no previous versions, but can't you, but, well, can you go to the archive? Well, yes, you can, but it only goes to 3.0. So, yeah, you might be saying, but there's no 1.0. What, where is it? Well, Unity, Unity technically has, still has 1.0 on their servers, but they're all, but they're all unlisted. So, I found this UNT thread, and basically there's this, this person who managed to dump all of these downlinks from 1.0 to, yeah, to, to uh, 2.0, yeah, 2.0, yeah, yeah, no, 2.6. So, basically, basically, I found, basically, if you click on this, Guess what? You can download it. So yeah, I managed to download this. Uh, yeah, it's on my yeah this one. So um yeah um in case if that download download doesn't work or Unity takes it down, I still have the copy. But anyways, um yeah. Since I download it, I mean, I didn't download it on this game yet, but yeah, I also, yeah. Uh, okay, so first thing, since it, since this requires a Mac, um, yeah, you must, must be running on the following versions. Um, Yeah, this is the requirement at the moment. It requires Panther or later. Radi uh, Radeon or GeForce graphics card with 32 megabytes of RAM. And it recommends the a G3 processor and yeah, and 256 RAM. And yeah, uh, basically, basically you need all these like these but higher I mean uh, yeah these are recommended but uh, you could use higher so yeah my VM is currently a Mac is, is running Mac OS 10.5 um uh what no Leopard and um and it's running on the G4 processor so yeah you can't download it on Safari because you know the internet these days um is more it's a lot more different but luckily, um, luckily, so luckily, I downloaded this browser, which is kind of like a, a fork of Firefox. So, okay, so once you got Unity downloaded, just double click on it, and it should bring the installer. Okay, so, so yeah, feel free to read this. Um, yeah, there's not much. Then, uh, then click on, then just click on continue. Then accept license. Then you know all those stuff. Click on continue if, if there is a prompt saying saying that you know that that this could. This is not verified by Apple. Continue. Continue. Agree. That. This will take. This will take this much space. Let's go. Continue. 
なんですかそのプロンテッドウィッツです。そのプロンテッドウィッツは、どのようなプロンテッドウィッツは、どのようなプロンテッドウィッツは、どのようなプロンテッドウィッツは、どのようなプロンテッドウィッツは、どのようなプロンテッドウィッツは、どのようなプロンテッドウィッツは、どのようなプロンテッドウィッツは、どのようなプロンテッドウィッツは、どのようなプロンテッドウィッツは、どのようなプロンテ Okay, so now this has been loaded.、Um, and if this worked for you, congratulations! You successfully got Unity 1.0 to work. So,、um, yeah, basically, yeah, you get this. And yeah, well, when I tried this, this is actually, this is, this is, I actually tried this on another VM、um, earlier today. And yeah, it was actually six, almost successful, but it crashed unfortunately. So, yeah, I mean, it might be because of the GPU. I mean, like, I think this VM probably doesn't have an integrated GPU,、uh, doesn't have a GPU in it. Because, I mean, I, I, mean, I'm, 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 I mean, I don't really know how to do QMU well, like, how to do stuff in QMU. But, anyways, just. Exit all of it. Yeah, this VM is so slow.、Uh, okay. Yeah, I think it crashes. I mean, let's see. Yeah, it crashes. I think it probably crashed. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, also, also back then, they, they,、um, they actually used to use JavaScript for everything. I think there's also a bit of CSS, I just realized that now. I mean, I didn't see that in first, <laughs> first time for some reason. But yeah, mostly, mostly all this were all in JavaScript. Now, it's all,、uh, now everything is all in C. Sharp. So, yeah, that's interesting to point out. So, yeah. I can look over like, the HTML documentation. I mean, I'm not sure how much documentation they put in there, but let's just see. This is actually my first time seeing this. I haven't seen this on the other one. Yeah, I think at this point,、um, yeah, I think it's better to try this off on a, power, on a Power Mac G4 because it doesn't work on, on my VM. So, okay, I'm just gonna force quit. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, you could. Then you could look at this data story guide. And yeah, I, think, I think that previous prompt, there, the welcome prompt there on UT, I think it, I think it was actually an HTML、uh, web view. But yeah, it's interesting. You can see what it looks like. I mean, I mean yeah, I don't think I could actually get a game working on, on, on this VM. This is gonna take a long time. Because this video is drawing on, on a bit too long. I probably have to cut up a lot of things and probably redo some some voice. I mean, some,、um, some
some things I mu mucked up. So, yeah. Let's see all that. And. Yeah, I think that's just pretty much it. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, Unity. Okay, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye. -bye.